by recognizing the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleischman, for five minutes. Thank you. Members of the Budget Committee, I thank you for the opportunity to testify regarding the 2013 budget. I appreciate the hard work ahead of you all and wish you the best during this challenging process. I will keep my comments short because I'm not here to ask for additional funding in certain areas of spending that might help me with a pet project or a campaign promise. Rather, as a recently elected member of Congress, I want to stress the problems of our massive debt and uncontrollable spending and encourage you to set us on a path to fiscal sustainability and stress my desire to help with this process. Most importantly, I wanted to bring some realistic budget solutions to the committee's attention. As you know well, the current fiscal outlook is bleak and has gotten dramatically worse over the last few years. Our current national debt is $15 trillion, which amounts to almost $50,000 for every man, woman, and child. This debt is now over 100 percent of our GDP, and significant amount of this debt is owned by foreign sources. And the cause of this problem is increased spending, not a lack of revenue. Since World War II, tax revenues have averaged, averaged about 18 percent of the economy, and these revenues are predicted to remain at or about that level for the foreseeable future. During this time, spending has averaged around 20 percent of the economy. However, recently spending has gone well above this 20 percent average and is now predicted to explode to nearly 45 percent of the economy in future years, a massive and unsustainable increase. Fortunately, there are common sense steps we can take immediately to address our fiscal problems. For example, last month, after the President released his 2013 budget, I introduced the Freeze Government Spending Act of 2012. This bill is simple, but I believe it represents a realistic, straightforward approach to controlling discretionary spending. This bill amends the Budget Control Act of 2011 in a few ways. First, it takes fiscal year 2013 budget cap of $1,047,000 of and subtracts the automatic sequestration that will happen in 2013. This gives us a final budget limit of $949 billion for 2013. This is a 9 percent cut from 2012 and brings us close to the fiscal year 2008 discretionary level. My bill then freezes discretionary spending at that 2013 level of $949 billion for nine years while ending the crippling defense cuts imposed by sequestration. Since Congress has already agreed to live within the 2013 spending level, it seems logical that we can simply live within that limit for an additional eight years. This seems especially reasonable when we are spending more money that we simply do not have. And the budgetary impact of this freeze will be significant. It will save us roughly $850 billion over 10 years versus the Budget Control Act. When interest savings is included, we are close to $1 trillion in savings. Again, all of this is accomplished by simply freezing spending. In addition to this big picture budget bill, I have introduced legislation to eliminate a program that is needlessly costing taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. The Stop Green Initiative Abuse Act of 2011 would eliminate the flawed weatherization assistance program, which has been ripe with substantial problems in recent years. In fact, both the Tennessee Comptroller General's Office and the Department of Energy Gen Inspector General's Office have studied the program and found significant fraud and abuse. Elimination of this duplicative program could save us $2 billion over 10 years. I bring this to the committee's attention because if every member of Congress could find just one similar wasteful program to eliminate, we would be on the right track to getting our fiscal house in order. A billion here and a billion there can add up to significant savings. When I came here last year, I wanted to be part of the solution to our fiscal problems, and I wanted to do more than simply cast votes. I wanted to bring real positive proposals to the table. I hope these ideas will be helpful to the committee, and I thank you for your time. In addition, I stand ready to work with you 
and all our colleagues to address our country's fiscal problems. Thank you.